Hi there. Thanks for joining. I'm really excited today to talk about the next billion people. But first, my name is Uchi, Uchi Asinguchi. And today, I'm going to be discussing how the next billion people would end online and also how the ability of people to spend money online is impacted by their location and how that could look like in the future. So let's get started. So currently online and on the web, we see that the experience of is really poor. There's a flood of others that are impacting the experience, right? It seems like when you view a blog or a video or anything online, you just kind of get flooded with advertisement and it kind of seems like it follows you everywhere you go and across all of your devices and then for content creators those that are writing this uh, blog post creating these videos and other kinds of content they are being impacted by corrupt business practices right and these business practices are controlled by a few large entities and for these independent creators they don't really have uh, a lot of times any recourse to uh, fight the, the the organizations that are perpetuating and promoting this uh, corrupt business practices. This should change. And that's why in this session, we're going to explore the status quo versus the future. Let's, let's see how. So before we do that, let's talk about our online self, the how and the where. So how we earn from our online content and where we're able to spend the earnings. So depending on our location, how can we spend our earnings? Starting with the how, we're gonna look at the status quo of how uh, people earn online and also the future of that, or maybe the now, how that might change. So the current process of earning for, from content is exclusionary. Like we mentioned before, a few organizations really control this, right? They set arbitrary rules and uh, execute those rules without consideration of uh, the creators that are creating this content. Also, earning online is mostly driven by ads. And like we mentioned, for content creators, the ads are not pleasing. It provides a poor user experience. And also, earning is delayed, right? So you have to wait for maybe 15 to 30 days to get paid for the, for the month or for the week. And for a lot of people, that's not encouraging after you spent a lot of time really building this amazing content that's useful to your user. On the other hand, how could the future look like? What is a better way to compensate content creators for the effort and the time they put into creating content that are impactful. So, ending online should be fair, it should be transparent, and it should be open. It should be driven by the value that is provided by the content that is created. So, viewers of those content should have the ability to really uh, provide additional incentives, maybe like a tip to the content uh, creator. And the amount of time or the value that that content provides should be reflected in the earnings that the creator gets from uh, from that content. Also, payment should not be uh, delayed. It should happen in real time. And it shouldn't be driven by ads, despite the fact that the user is providing, the content is providing value. The user should not be forced to view an ad to be able to unlock that content. And this is the future, but what if I told you that this already happens today? That there's a way for content creators to earn in a fair, transparent, and open manner, a way for content creators to earn micro payments, and a way for content creators to earn without providing a poor user experience uh, for the consumers. So this is called web monetization, and a lot of us are already familiar with it. I know some of us already have our websites, our blogs, and our videos monetized already. If you've not, I hope that by the end of this uh, session, you would have the web monetization meta tag enabled for your 
uh, websites and also for your blog and you start earning in real time. So what is web monetization? Web monetization, it's a proposed JavaScript API that enables uh, anyone to earn from the content that it creates. So how it works is that as a user viewing a content, payment is being sent in real time from my browser to uh, the user that created that content. So it happens all in real time. And this standard, it's open. It works across uh, all browsers. And it works across all browsers. So like I mentioned, web monetization is enabling uh, creators everywhere to earn money in real time. And thinking about it, it's very fascinating when you think about the next billion uh, people, especially in areas of the world where one dollar is highly valuable, where something like five dollars provide a meal for a family for a day or two or even a week, right? So thinking about it that way kind of shows the impact of this web monetization technology, which opens up the opportunity for anyone, anywhere to monetize their content and start earning micropayments in real time. So moving on to how all of this works and how you can get started with web monetization, there are a couple of components to it. So you need a wallet where you can accept the payment. You need a payment pointer. So think of this payment pointer like your email, right? So with your email, you are receiving messages or data packets. With your payment pointer, you are receiving payments or money packets, right? So that's the distinction there. It's just like your email where you will receive your, your payments and it's unique to you. And all you need to do is add your payment pointer to your content, which could be a blog, a video, or anything else. And then once you've done that, you start earning. And the HTML meta tag currently is what you need to add. So it's the monetization meta tag. So without going to like too much details about the technicalities of this, uh, again, what you need is the wallet, the payment pointer, which is like your email address and a HTML meta tag. And to learn more and to get started today in the next few minutes, go to developers.coil.com and you have your content monetized. So let's move on to uh, the second part of our talks. When someone has been able to earn from their content online, how can they spend their earnings? And how does the location of a content creator affect where they are able to spend their earnings? Let's see how, let's see the current status quo and then the future of spending our earnings. So currently, there's high friction when trying to, uh, to, spend, to spend money online, especially for people in uh, locations where there are limited options. The fees to even redeem or, or, or transform your online earning to a format that is spendable locally is really high. I've heard someone say that they wanted to pay some winners at their event, and by the time the winners got the uh, payment, they already lost 30% of the money that was sent. Imagine that you sent uh, $100 as a payment for a service, and by the time you get, get that money, you've, you have about $70 because of all of the bank fees and processes, and it takes a long, long time. And for some, they don't even have access to uh, uh, to even like N. And even if they, are, they, they want to set up this web monetization thing, they are, they're not even able to uh, get it set up, right? This should change. And that's why the second option is what we want to go for. Earnings that we have, we should be able to transfer it easily from ourselves to maybe a friend or to a business that we're buying stuff from. We should be able to spend the earnings globally, right? It shouldn't depend on where we're born or where we're located. We should be able to like spend freely and end freely. And again, regardless of location, this earning and ability of ability to spend should definitely be uh, inclusive. It should include everyone, regardless of uh, where they are. And that's why uh, I'm excited to also talk about Interledger because Interledger enables this. So the way I like to describe Interledger is with three words. 
It's universal, it's flexible, it is simple. Universal, flexible, simple. So what does that mean? So it's universal because it is currency and provider independent. So just like uh, when you want to send when you want to send information online, it doesn't matter if it's a video, an audio, a test file, whatever kind of uh, data that you want to send across the internet, it doesn't really matter, right? You can send uh, different kind of data and it just kind of works. And that's how IntelliJ was developed. It doesn't matter what currency you're trying to send. It shouldn't matter what currency you're trying to send. It just uh, works and there's a way to reconcile it in the destination. And then it's flexible. That is, it doesn't depend on the particular ledger. In fact, you don't even need a blockchain or a distributed ledger technology to run or support IntelliJ. And that's the beauty of uh, the entire protocol. And finally, it's simple, just like this, just like TCP IP, right? So just the core functionality of being able to send payment packets are what I've included in IntelliJ. And I think that makes it simple for people uh, to get uh, started. So again, Interledger will enable the freedom to receive payments regardless of currency, location, or platform. And I think this is very, very powerful. So in summary, now versus the future. Online currently, it's all driven by ads. The ability to end online currently is driven by ads. And also payments or spending is delayed and controlled by a few organizations. But in the future, which is already now, like we've seen with web monetization and also interledger, payments or value or earnings is driven by the value that's provided by the, by the content, right? And we also mentioned that users should have the ability to maybe tip for the content that they, they viewed in addition to being uh, sending payments in real time via micropayments. And then the beauty of it is that spending should be possible between users peer-to-peer -peer or agents to agent. So if you'd like to learn more about uh, web monetization, interledger, and the feature of earning and spending online, the feature of inclusive, open, transparent, earning and spending online, then check out developers.coi.org.com or webmonetization.org. Please feel free to reach out to me uh, with any questions in the comment section or send me a direct message on Twitter. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the conference.